Six years ago, when we last visited Japan, one of the first places we visited was Neidu Jinja, a shrine in the heart of Nippori. We went there mainly because we woke up around 5 in the morning due to jet lag. As such, we decided to visit it again to see how things had changed in six years. For the most part, it remains very much as we remember it. The main differences are that there are more people here because we are not here at 5 in the morning. There are some festival stands set up due to Golden Week, and there is some construction happening nearby, which is that noise you can hear in the background. Apparently, there was an art reception planned for the afternoon we were there. As you can see, the 36 major poets' portraits in Yamatoe were going to be on display. Yamatoe being a Japanese painting style inspired by Tang Dynasty paintings, whose details include many small figures and carefully detailed depictions of buildings and other objects. The architecture of the shrine was not the only form of beauty on display, however. There was also a great natural beauty on display as well. The shrine could also be considered a park with numerous trees and animals incorporated into its design. For example, there was this beautiful pond full of koi fish and even a few turtles just off the side of the main building. The water reflects these flowers beautifully. This pond is fed by a natural spring you can see in the distance. As I said earlier, there was a great deal of nature's beauty on display, the most notable example being these flowers. We were not the only admirers either, several other people had stopped to photograph or record these lovely flower arrangements. <laughs> One memorable moment I was able to record was this family of turtles. It was adorable watching them basking in the sun on a small rock in the river among the flowers and shaded by the trees. Family of turtles down there. Quite nice to see Nadu Jinja again after six years, and I was glad that we decided to visit again this time. If any of you are ever visiting Tokyo and happen to be in Nippori, I can highly recommend making a short stop here. It can make for a nice break from the urban area of Japan and serve as a relaxing time to spend among nature or as a learning experience about Japan's history. <laughs> 